Oh, hiya, Eco Explorers. My name's Andrew, and I'm on a hike right now looking for some mammals, but I've not had a lot of luck. We have a huge variety of mammals in our state, but they're sometimes pretty hard to spot. From the endangered red wolf who roams the expansive wild lands of eastern North Carolina, and the American river otter who lives and plays along our mighty rivers, to one of our 17 species of night-flying bats. There are even ocean mammals like the bottlenose dolphin you might find leaping just beyond the breaking waves. Well, that was a long and tiring hike, Ugh, and I didn't find any mammals, but I think it's about time for a little nap. What was that? It's an acorn. Somebody must have dropped it. Oh, but wait, looks like there's something inside of it. Ugh. What is this? All mammals are invited to Bent Creek Winter Welcome. Join us in Rody Grove Clearing. Huh, some critter must have dropped this on their way to the party. But wait, I'm a mammal too. I want to go to this party, but I don't know where Rody Grove Clearing is. Hmm, I know. I'll use my mammal tracking skills to follow all the mammals that are going to the party, and then I can find it too. Mammals leave all sorts of signs behind. Anything from tracks to marks on plants and trees or scattered food and even... Scat! This here is bear scat and scat is another word for poop. Now, bear scat can weigh anywhere between half a pound to a whole pound, so it's really big. And it, you can identify it because it often contains leaf fragments, seeds, berries, or small amounts of fur. The American black bear lives here in the mountains and along the eastern part of North Carolina. They're omnivores, which means they eat both plants and meat. Male black bears can reach up to 700 pounds. This fella is probably getting ready to go to sleep. In the winter, black bears don't truly hibernate. They will find a cozy den to snooze away in the winter. They also drop their body temperature and heart rate but not nearly as much as true hibernators, such as rodents and bats. This allows the bears to wake up during their sleep if their den is disturbed. Finding this is great. It means we're on the right track. Oh look, it's an oak tree. And sure enough, squirrel feeding signs. So squirrels are messy eaters and they often leave piles of cracked open acorns like this all over the ground. But these tough little critters stay awake and active through the winter. All summer long, squirrels are busy storing up nuts into caches that they find again in the winter. Squirrels can bury thousands of nuts during their lifetime. Did you know that squirrels are one of the few mammal species that's able to climb head first down a tree? Can you imagine if we were able to do that? Anyway, it doesn't look like our squirrel family's here. So they're probably at the mammal, the winter mammal party. So we gotta keep going. Oh wait, here are some mammal prints. These are from a groundhog. You can tell a groundhog print because the front paws will have four toes and the back paws will have five. And the prints will be about two inches long. They are North Carolina's third largest rodent and go by many different names. Woodchuck, whistle pig, grass rat, and kudzu bear, just to name a few. Groundhogs are one of North Carolina's true hibernators. When you're resting, your heart beats about 70 to 110 times every minute. While a groundhog is hibernating, their heart rate drops to 4 to 10 beats per minute. They're really snoozing. Hmm. <laughs> so, this groundhog must be heading to the welcome winter party before settling down in her burrow.
Ah, what a lovely day. Oh, some more mammal tracks. These look to be from a coyote. Oh, wow, this mammal party must be really hopping. So clearly, both coyotes and humans have been here recently. But on this coyote print, you'll notice that it looks a lot like a domesticated dog. That's because it's also a canine. So it has a central, a central area surrounded by four lobes, and each of those lobes, which are toes, will end in a claw mark. While bears eat some meat and a lot of plants, coyotes are 100% carnivorous hunters. They eat small rodents such as rabbits, squirrels, and they also eat insects. Coyotes are highly adaptable to human development and have been known to live in cities. Coyotes are another tough winter creature. During the winter, most of their normal prey is not available, so coyotes might team up with other coyotes to hunt large prey, such as injured or sick deer. Their winter meals also largely consist of scavenging. Although mammals are always living around us, sometimes they're not super easy to spot. That's why finding things like tracks, scat, and other signs is a good way to know that they're there and to find them. However, if you do spot mammals, make sure to not get too close. A good way to know what a respectful distance is is to use the rule of thumb. That means if you can cover up the mammal with your thumb, you're far enough away. If not, you should probably give them some more room. Whoa, more tracks. There's a bear track. It, it might look like a coyote, but it has five lobes. Oh, and there's a deer. Oh, and a raccoon and a possum. There's so many. Oh, and a squirrel and a fox. Whoa, look at all those mammal. Man, I'm so glad we found all these mammals. Thanks for coming with me on the site. I'm not gonna get too close though, but I do think I'll enjoy the music. Good luck on your uh, mammalogy badge, Eco Explorers. Have fun and keep exploring.